Breaking news and... Lest there was any question about what the president will do. If I could answer that question, I would be, uh, I don't know what. Man, you cannot keep Arizona out of the media this week. A lot of weeks, actually. We're kind of nutty around here, but it's good for us, good for you, maybe. Uh, the big news this week that seems to have no end in sight is President Donald Trump continuing to go after Senator John McCain, which is, of course, the late Senator John McCain since he died in August. But Trump keeps attacking him and people keep getting mad about it and we keep writing about it and making, you know, doing TV interviews about it and you know, just the media is all over it. It needs to stop. And here's the thing, of course Trump is gonna keep going at it. I mean, you know he is. He does that all the time with everything. The dirty little secret is the media can't stop either. This is good for, you know, for page views. It's good for circulation. It's good for viewers. It's good for listeners in terms of like bringing people to your media outlet. But is it really serving anybody? Eh, I'm not sure it is. And by the way, full disclosure, I've written about it too. But at some point, we need to move on to more substantial things. Yes, it's unseemly. Yes, it's bad. I mean, nobody should go after a dead guy, particularly if you're the president. But I mean, that, that's how he's governed and that's how it's gonna be. I feel like, give the story its run. Of course, the first time it happens, say something about it, write about it, broadcast about it. After that, move on. Let's get on to things that really matter. The other thing I want to talk about this week, because of course I do, is the NCAA basketball tournament. It's the greatest event in all of sports. And believe it or not, I'm actually not going to talk about the Wofford Terriers during this segment, except to say, go Wofford. Anyway, I want to talk about Arizona State and its coach, Bobby Hurley. Or should I say, Bobby Hurley? That's pretty much how he, that's sort of his resting position on the bench. He's what you might call a high-strung coach. And it's coming back to haunt him a little bit, and the media plays a part in that. He got called for a technical that he may not have deserved in the play-in game. Uh, there was a lot of talk at halftime about how the officials were really looking at him. And they've been gunning for him a little bit because he does have this reputation as being kind of a hothead. And he certainly lived up to it. Um, if not in that game, then over the course of the season. They talked a lot at halftime about how if you raise your arms, they're going to call it a lot this year because it's a, a sort of a physical representation of what you're trying to say and it's sort of upstages the officials and they don't like it. Who does? Hurley, if you've ever seen an ASU game, does this about a hundred times a game. It's just the way he is, it's the way he coaches. I don't know if he deserved the technical, but I do think that going forward against Buffalo in the next round, the officials are really going to be looking at him. That's the way these things play out. The media starts writing about it and broadcasting and talking about it and all of a sudden it kind of becomes true. And I don't know if Hurley deserves it. I don't know if he doesn't deserve it. But I do know that he's gonna to have to toe the straight and narrow if he wants to avoid more technicals in the next round. Ah! Get it out in the before the game. Get it out at halftime in the locker room or something. But chill out when you're on the sideline.